Welcome students! It's nice to see you again. Today we are going to be continuing our writing in our grateful journals. Before we begin, please get the materials that you'll need. You'll need your journal, a writing utensil, and crayons or colored pencils if you plan to do an illustration with your writing. Push pause and meet me back here if you need to get your things. Okay, today our lesson is going to be um, thinking grateful thoughts or thankful thoughts about the outdoors or nature. And remember, when we feel thankful and grateful, we're feeling positive thoughts, we're seeing kindness and we're feeling kindness around us. So when you think about the outdoors or nature, think about what it is that makes you happy, what makes you feel positive about being outside and being um, just being outdoors. So I want you to take some think time Think about what you are grateful for in nature with the outdoors. And I'm going to do the same thing. Go ahead and pause if you need to. Okay, great thinking. I will share my thinking with you. Remember, we always brainstorm before we begin thinking, before we begin writing. We brainstorm before we begin writing. Um, that helps us get our thoughts in order and it helps our writing be more clear. And one challenge I have given you every time we have met to do our grateful journals is to tell me what it is you are thankful for and why. So we're going to continue that today. So you'll tell me what it is you're grateful or thankful for about nature and the outdoors. And you're also going to tell me why it is you're thankful for that. And I'll do the same. I'll model that in my writing today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my thinking with you. And then I will do my writing. I am thankful for my garden. I love to watch the seeds grow and bloom and turn into vegetables. I'm also thankful for the sky. I love to watch the sky during the day, whether it be the blue sky or the clouds that are floating by. And I love to look up at that same sky in the evening and see the clouds, the stars, and the moon. The other thing I'm really grateful for in the outdoors are trees. Trees are beautiful. I love to listen to them um, sway in the wind, and they also protect us from the heat of the day if it's sunny, and they can protect us from rain and hail. Those are three things I'm thankful for about the outdoors. Now, I want you to be able to share what you're thankful for. Remember, pause the video if you would like to do some thinking. Okay, I'm gonna get started with my writing. Today, is my sixth entry in my journal. So I wrote entry six. Remember, you can do that. You can also write the date. I've started also writing um, a topic up here, outdoors. So that helps me remember what it is I'm writing. So when I go back to reread my journal, I know what it is that I'm focused on here. So today I'm going to say, I'm gonna start my sentence out. I am grateful for my garden. And remember the things we want to make sure we do. Start with a capital letter, put spacing between our words, and end with punctuation. When you come to a word that you are not sure how to spell, I want you to, in your mind, I want you to slowly say the sounds, stretch it out, and then write down the letter for the sounds that you hear. Okay? All right. So I, starting with the uppercase, am thankful for my garden. End of my thought there, end of my sentence, so I'm gonna go ahead and put punctuation. In this case, it will be a period. And now I'm going to tell you why I am thankful for my garden. I love to see the seeds grow and bloom. Into vegetables. 
And this is a this is a really long word, so this is one that you might stretch out. Edge. And then if you're not sure, veg t b oles. Vegetables. And so even though that is not book spelling, you've written down the letters to the sounds that you hear. And somebody that was coming to read your writing, or when you go back to read your writing, you can do the same thing. You can make those sounds and you know that that word is vegetables. Okay, end of my sentence, so I need punctuation. The next thing I said I was grateful for was the sky. So I'm gonna go ahead and write, I am grateful for the sky. And this time, when I tell you why I am grateful, I will use because. So I won't use two sentences this time. I'll put it together with that, with that word of because. I am grateful for the sky because, and remember, because is a word that we do want you to learn how to spell. It's called a high frequency word or a sight word. And so I'm gonna say the letters as I'm writing it. And so you might wanna jot this word down somewhere, maybe on your paper, so you have correct spelling. So you can use it in your writing. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. B-E-C-A-U-S-E, because. I am grateful for the sky because I, uppercase I, because it's a proper noun referring to myself, so we always use an uppercase letter. Because I can see the clouds during the day and the stars at night. Okay, so now I'm going to read my writing. Hope you can see that, there we go, okay. I am thankful for my garden. I love to see the seeds grow and bloom into vegetables. I am grateful for the sky because I can see the clouds during the day and the stars at night. Okay, I can't wait to see what it is you're grateful for about the outdoors. Remember, do your thinking first, your brainstorm. Next, you'll do your writing, write what you're thankful for and why you're thankful for it. And then at the end, make sure you reread just like I did to make sure that your thoughts made it to the paper because oftentimes our mind goes quicker than our hand when we're doing our writing. So have a great time writing what you're thankful for and I look forward to seeing you next time.